morning, welcome back, it's just me, StarCub. Today I'm going to do a quick and easy review, movie review, for Evil Dead, the 2013 movie, which is a reimagining of the original 1981 film by Sam Raimi. Uh, 2013 version, in my opinion, is superior to Sam Raimi's, in my personal opinion. But before we get into that, if you're new, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep up to date. And if you're returning, welcome back, guys. Um, sorry I couldn't uh, have been MIA for two or three days, I think it is. I've just had so much on my plate at the moment. I've literally been trying to get videos sorted and edited and stuff like that, and some of them I screwed up, so I'm having to refilm some of them. And I've just had a lot going on lately. Uh, as you can see, I got a new hair color. Um, looks very Joker-ish. I kind of like it. I wanted to go with something new and fresh for a change rather than just going with my same freaking hair color. But other than that, uh, let's get into the review. Now, Evil Dead, the 2013 version, is directed by Fede Alvarez in his feature debut. For this film, uh, I think he did a absolutely fucking fantastic job. Like I said, it is superior to Sam Raimi's films. I am a big, huge fan of Sam Raimi's films. Don't get me wrong; I'm not here to piss off fans of the originals. I love them in my own way. I just think Fede Alvarez's version of Evil Dead was extremely gory, violent, gritty, dark. It had, it had some jokes in there. It had some spunk. Uh, it had some real hard-hitting moments, like heartfelt moments. It was visceral. It was real psychological shit, like literally. It wasn't the slapstick comedy horror that Sam Raimi's known for in the Evil Dead franchise. This is more visceral, real horror like psychological shit like well it'll literally fuck you with your head it when i first watched it i was on the edge of my seat some of it was just absolutely gory as hell um and I, I, some scenes i was just like gritting my teeth like this i was just like oh man they, they pulled it off so well and a lot of it was practical, the majority of the film is practical, like, except for the stuff that, like, it's impossible to do practically, so you have to use a bit of CGI, but Jane Levy, as the main character of Mia, absolutely fa fantastic. She is worthy of being a major character, very much like Bruce Campbell's Ash Williams. She did an amazing job. All the other cast did an amazing job. It's basically the plot. Basically, Deadites are in it, the Necronomicon's in it, there's a cabin, but there's little nods to all of Sam Raimi's three films. Uh, the car, for instance, that Ash Williams drives is there. You got the cabin. It's done in its own unique way. There's nods back to number two. Evil Dead 2, there's nods to Army of Darkness. It's there. It's got the workings of Sam Raimi's. He's taken the premise of it and expanded and made it a whole new film entirely where it basically... Mia has a... Uh, she's addicted to drugs and uh, her brother and his girlfriend and their two friends from school um, basically do an intervention on her, take her to this cabin to get her clean from drugs once and for all because it's literally, she's wasting her life basically. And then from there they discover a book and you get the rest of it. It all, all hell breaks loose but it is done in such a way where the horror is just so visceral and real, and some of it was just very, 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 very hard to watch. I, I absolutely loved it. 
the gore in it was absolutely amazing, but it was part of the story. It wasn't being grotesque simply just to be friggin' grotesque. It, it all works into the story, whether it's bloody, whether it's, you know, the hardcore hitting ones about, you know, she's abusing drugs. There's some, there's a real scene in it that involves a hot, hot, boiling fucking shower and particular person standing under it. And yeah, you can get the rest. It, it is, the horror is there. Fidel Alvarez has done an amazing job. All the cast and crew have. The story is amazing. It's shot very well. It's dark. It's a very different take on Evil Dead altogether from Sam Raimi's versions of his films. I loved the aspect of Fidel Alvarez's. I really wish they had of he had done a sequel because it sounded so unique that he was actually going to cross over Mia with Ash Williams in the same universe. So it would have played out really, really well. I don't know why they didn't do that. And of course, you know, Sam Raimi decide, decides that he's gonna make another Evil Dead film. And then there's all this other stuff that intertwined with it. And basically Fede Alvarez wasn't able to get a chance to do his, you know, ongoing saga with this, which is disappointing, but I hope in the future that he's able to do a sequel to his Evil Dead, because I would love to see it. I really would. I would love to see more of Mia and Joan Levy as Mia. Absolutely amazing actress. She did very, very well in this film. Uh, can't praise her enough. Um, but with Evil Dead Rise, directed by Lee Cronin coming out this year in April, when I watched the trailer, I was like, oh my God, that has the same feel and horror and psychological bullshit that comes with it. It's very much like 2013's. It's real visceral horror. And I cannot wait to see Evil Dead Rise. It sounds like it's gonna be an amazing film. It looks like it's gonna be an amazing film. They did screen test of it and it tested very, very extremely positive. It just feels like that he took a cue from Fede Alvarez and went with the real dark, gritty horror, psychological horror, gore, you name it. I can't wait to see it. Like I said, this Evil Dead film, absolutely amazing. It's in my top five for horror movies. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I did have it on Blu-ray, I think, but I, I can't I can't find it at the moment. So I'm going to upgrade and get a 4K for my PlayStation 5 as collector's edition one because I absolutely loved the film. I go back and watch it. I've seen it about 10 times already. Um, so I love coming back to it. Like I said, I'm a huge horror fan. Uh, this film is really, really up there. Top five as one of my favorites with Suspiria, obviously. I did a recent posting for that uh, review for Suspiria. So I'll flash that up on the screen and please check that uh, review out because I really enjoyed doing that video. Suspiria is an amazing film. It's the 2018 reimagining of Dario Argento's. Uh, so check that out. Uh, check out all my other ones that I've done. Um, but yes, to conclude, Evil Dead, Fede Alvarez's version, I give it a 10 out of 10. Absolutely loved it. I uh, really hope in the future he can continue his versions of his imagining of Evil Dead. Would love to see that. Other than that, 10 out of 10. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click like, subscribe. You know the drill. Click the notification bell as well. Uh, this is gonna be the video. This is gonna be number one. Um, I'll do another video, which is gonna be a quick an easy one for the book collection that I have so far. Um, I've got some ideas that I'm gonna spruce up for upcoming reviews for books. Um, so watch out for those. But this is the first video. I'll have another video out after, uh, shortly, which is the book tour one, just a quick one there. Me explaining some of my favorite books, uh, what I haven't read yet. And then I'll have another few videos uh, that I've 
got to edit and get out as soon as possible. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Catch you later.